Welcome back to Bad Axe Bourbon. I'm Bobby. Woo! What we got? All right. I'm trying something new this week, peeps. If you like it, let me know down in the comments. I'm trying the old, uh, this is how I do a normal live stream now. I got the old axe hole cam there. Where you get a nice uh, shot of the old axe hole. But... Here's what we're doing on this first episode, peeps, of the new setup on Ecamm. We're going to do Still Austin. Pour some Austin on me. You see that? 21090 pick right there. Still Austin. Pour some Austin on me. So this is a... Single barrel cast strength pick by 21090. Great channel. Go subscribe to them if you haven't already. I'm sure if you're watching me, you probably already have and you know about them. Great channel, by the way. Very entertaining. Great peeps. So this is 116 proof. And this is not a fresh crack. This is a review. I fresh cracked this on live stream last week. I finally got it. Man, this is some good juice here, people. Really good juice. I got... So much, so much caramel on the nose. I think it's the most caramel I've ever gotten a nose on anything that I've ever had, ever, ever, people, ever. So, if you guys don't know about Still Austin, it's out of Austin, Texas. Texas Distillery, Austin, Texas. I wasn't too keen, as the story goes, I wasn't too keen on Texas whiskey because all I had, you know, at first, like probably like most of us had, either had the Garrison Brothers or Balcones. So Garrison Brothers was my first uh, delve into <laughs> into Texas whiskey. Ooh, my goodness, people! Squirrel, check this out. Come watch some live streams, people. Get your name on the wheel. Win some spinge. You might get this, or at least half of this, in a in a goodie bag. Right with a sample right here. Check it out. That's a good man. I'm keeping that one for sure. So anyway, still uh Texas whiskey. I had Garrison Brothers. I think I my first was a small batch. Oh my goodness, that was not good, people. I, I'm I I haven't had a Garrison Brothers that I can say I like yet. I've had four or five of them. I've only owned one. But I can't, I'm like, after I got burned so bad on that one, I'm like, uh, let's let's just get pours if we can. Or get uh, samples. Like uh, Bourbon Note sent me a, a two-ounce uh, handshake sample of uh, Balmorea. Balmorea? Bal Balmorea. Right, Balmorea. And that was the closest I've come to liking it. I don't not like it, but I don't quite like it. I know that's uh, odd to say or weird to say, but I don't know. We've uh, had discussions about it. It was, it was weird. It's like it, it was, there was bad whiskey under there, but they finished it or something to try to cover it up. And what they covered it up with was good, but there was still something in there. It's, it's just like they were trying to cover. It's like there was layers, and they were trying to just cover, trying to hide the bad whiskey with something good. So I did not like it, but I didn't like it. So eh. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. This is about Still Austin's uh, cast strength single barrel pick from 21090. Let's get a little pop on that sucker. That's a good pop. Oh my gosh. This is such a good nose. Such a good nose. If that all that caramel transferred over to the nose, it'd be like a like a caramello, people. You know, the that super sweet. Caramel, you know, like a little chocolate bar thingy, but there's so much caramel in it. Chocolate's there too, but you really just get caramel. That soft, flowy caramel, not dense and chewy, almost drippy caramel. But uh, yeah, let's get a nose on this sucker right now. <laughs> so much caramel, man. So much. <laughs> Gotta get some of the actual cam here. Woo! Oh my goodness.
goodness. Do you guys see that? <laughs> Here's the biggest chunk yet. Someone want that one in the mail? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going crazy over here, people. Man, I'm about to start flipping stuff already. All right, so the nose on this one. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's so overwhelming with the caramel. I, I just don't get a lot else on it. And I'm not complaining about that. It's not, I'm, I'm just saying, this is not super complex on the nose, but I'm not, I'm not mad at it. That is such a good nose. Goodness. But, you know, I, I like sweets just a little bit. Ask anyone that knows me if I like sweets, and they say probably just a little bit. A little bit of sweet tooth. All right, so. Let's get a little bit on the palate there, peeps. So I got to give it some axes. Is it, is it going to be bad axe or what? I'm trying to use those sparingly. So, I mean, the nose is bad axe for sure. The nose is bad axe. I might have started rating noses and then, then rating the palate. Then just kind of join them. All right, let me get some on the palate, peeps. Mm. Ooh. 116 proof. It's a I'm getting a little bit of leather. A little bit a little bit of char. A little bit of char. I don't know what the char is the char profile. Is that three? I think they just use three. Is it still Austin? I'm not sure. Maybe I should have found that out. But uh that's good. It's a uh, even even char not too not too much char and i like char i just don't like to be chewing on a briquette and yeah, some of that caramel does transfer over to the palate it's good i'm getting a, some of that like a like a fruity tobacco too like a fruity tobacco like a like a like a i say before like a swisher sweet cigar type of stuff or pipe or pipe tobacco where it's a little bit sweeter like not just some generic old cigar or stale cigarette smoke nah dude not doing that but uh that's good i wouldn't say at least for me with my amateur paula i'm not gonna say it's super complex but doesn't doesn't always have to be complex it just has to be good and this is good the nose is incredible. Now, like I said, not complex nose, but it is really good. Super caramel on the nose, caramello type. Maybe that hint of chocolate. Maybe. Right, let's get some more on the palate. Second sip. Second sip. sip. Second sip. Yeah, it is. That's good. Getting a little more. On a little bit more char now. The finish, I would say it's a, a decent finish. It's not not a huge finish. It's still it's still going. I know I'm getting more char on the back of the tongue now. More char. It's, it, it's a little bit it's a little bit dry. But I mean, it's not displeasing. None of these things I'm saying, I don't want you to take them as negative because they're not displeasing. I'm just trying to describe it for you. It's still just full of caramel on the nose. Some uh. Palette, man. Let me, let me get some more on that palette. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of caramel transfers to the palette. I actually wish more transferred over to the palette. It's getting better though. I'm getting more of that char, but not too much. It's just, it's just building on what I've got before, which I don't mind. If it was just a briquette right off the bat, I'd be like, Argh. But, you know, I knew I was going to like this right off the bat. I mean, I ordered two bottles right off the bat because still Austin cash strength. Single barrels are good already. I have the Nancy Fraley pick. Actually, I've got just a regular still Austin cash strength sitting over here and the Nancy Fraley pick as well. I'll bring those up here after I rate this and just kind of side by side them. All right. For y'all. Yeah, that nose is still delicious, people.
Yeah, that's that's pretty good. What are we gonna give this for axes? What are we gonna give it? Dry, a lot of caramel on the nose. Maybe again, just caramel on the nose. A little dry on the palate. Not a huge finish. Got some uh, uh, some char, which is building up, which I, I like. A uh, little bit of pipe, free pipe tobacco, like Swisher Sweet type, uh, sweet cigar type of stuff on the palate. I'm going to go ahead and give this some axes right now, people. I'm going to give this. Four axes, people! Four axes! <laughs> Woo! Four axes! Really good juice, people. Really good juice. All right, let me get to, uh, let me get a couple more pours up here. I'm going to go ahead and pour the Nancy Fraley pick right next to that sucker. And this one is, this is 122 proof here. This is the Nancy Fraley pick. So you got her tag right here. That's the nose right there, Nancy the nose. She's the one. She's the master, right? She's the uh, Jedi master. I am uh, but a Padawan. So, yeah, let's get some of this. Let's see if we still got a pop on this sucker. Ooh, decent, decent. A little deeper. A little deeper pop. A little thud in there. What the heck just happened? What the heck just happened? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is super good. I know that already. I've never done that, ever. I just like poured this all over my hand. What the heck? What happened? <laughs> this is my first pour tonight too, people. My first video. Goodness. All right. Get it together, Bobby. Get it together! All right, let's see. put this sucker back up. There's the Fraley. There's the 21090. All right? Man, this man. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Man, that's a good pick. It's, you know, it's a little lighter on the nose, I'll say. A little lighter on the nose. It's been cracked for uh, much longer. Well, at least, at least a month and a half longer. That's a good nose. I'm not getting so much caramel on this nose. That's good. I'm getting more of those that leather and fruit on on the nose on this one. Still good. Oh no, just got ooh yeah yeah yeah. Just got a little hint of that caramel right there. So this one's a little bit a little bit more complex on the nose. I'll say. All right, let's get some on the palate. It's about this one. We got four axes on this one. It is a great bottle. I highly recommend it. I know it is sold out. You know, you probably find them on secondary though. I think it was 80 bucks I paid for the bottle. But I I do belong to their Patreon, so so if you're not signed up, belong to their Patreon, go sign up. Go check it out. They're uh, very entertaining. They do a lot of good stuff. As we're talking about Patreon, I also have Patreon. Bad X Bourbon on Patreon. Go check out my my Instagram, all that stuff. I'll throw a link down in the video. In the in the uh, description box for uh, my Patreon. In, oh my gosh, I'm getting more more on the nose now. More on the nose. I said more. Yeah, a little bit more complex on the nose. There's a, I'm getting a couple more notes on this nose. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit. It's it's sweet, but I'm getting a. But it is a little peppery. I'm getting some uh, kind of black pepper or all spice type of pepper on the on the palate on this one. Really good. Yeah, that's good. I forgot what I gave this one. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give this one axes. I've already done it in a video. That's really good though. That's some good stuff. All right, we're going regular. Regular still awesome right here, peeps. Little, little thuddy. Little thuddy right now. 
See if I can just not spill this one. Man, if I was going to spill any of them, I would have hoped it was this one. Not either of those two. Probably this regular daddy right there. That's the, reg the regular guy. See what I got on the nose count. Yeah, that's a good nose too. I'm getting a... Uh... You know, this is a... Oh. I say it's a little bit between her. The proof on this, what's the proof on this? What is the proof on this sucker? I need a big old there, no badass glasses out. Right. What is that? Oh my goodness. Could they make it smaller? Is that 50 or 58? Oh my god, uh, it's 100, 116 proof. 116. Dang, even taking the blur off, I could barely read that thing. Dang. Still lost it. Make your, your proof numbers bigger. Dang. Anyway, 116 proof. Just like this daddy right here. This is 123. Or 122. I believe 122. 122. This is the non pick. This is the shelfer. Excellent. Got it at Total Wine. Incredible. Yeah. That's good off the shelf, people. Little, uh, not quite as dry on the palate as uh, the 21091. But like I said, I'm not, I'm not saying that as a bad thing. I'm just saying that that's where it is. Or, you know what, maybe it's just come across as less char. But it's good. If you can get this, you can go to the store and get this. If Still Austin is distributed in your area, you can grab this at Total Wine for sure. And probably BevMo, if you're in a state that has BevMo. I think, I don't know how many states Total Wine is in, but everybody seems to know what it is. Or your big box liquor store, right? That sells all the, uh, all the regular, all your regular stuff. So if Still Austin is distributed there, they'll have it. Good stuff. Good juice, people. Good juice. So here's what I'm going to do. I don't know if this has been done yet. I'm going to mix them. We got the regular, the 21090, and the Fraley. Not quite equal parts, but the least of it is the, uh, the shelfer. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. So it's basically the same juice, right? Basically. So let's see what we get here. Hey, it's a decent nose. Get some more of that fruit, but I'm getting some uh, some more caramel that I, that I got. Decent nose, not overpowering though. I think uh, the other two kind of brought that caramel note down a bit. It's good. It's good. Well, there we go. We got Still Austin, the 21090 pick. That's what this video is about right here. Pour some Austin on me. 116 proof, single barrel, cast strength. Incredible. If you can find someone, you get a pour from somebody. You know, I think I gave... Did I give away? I think I get. I did. I gave away on my last live stream a two-ounce sample of it, along with another bottle that I'm going to do a video on next. A pick that I was part of, right? Moonlight Mayhem. So, watch the next video, the next review video. You're going to see Moonlight Mayhem. All right. So, let's get out of this one. Still lost in cast strength. Two ten ninety pick. Hundred sixteen proof. Single barrel. What do we like to say on this channel? Sharing good bourbon with friends and family is bad acts. I'm Bobby. Thanks for watching. Till next time, like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, share this video, people. Share it out there. Let's get this thing, man. We're trying to go worldwide. All right, share this video, people. Thanks for watching.